It's disgusting. <laughs> You will not believe the family secret I found in this letter from 1931. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Chelsea and I return lost heirlooms to family. From afar, this just looks like your average letter from niece to uncle. But wait, the contents of this letter become very apparent that they were more than just niece and uncle. They were lovers. What makes it 10 times worse is that this man was 60 and she was 12. Which is very much not okay. What's even more shocking is this man was a very famous furniture designer and his furniture still circulates to this day. When investigating this further, I couldn't actually find a blood relationship between this niece and uncle, but I assume that he was called uncle because he was a very good family friend of the mother or the father. The disturbing part of this whole thing is that this man used his fame to seduce a 12 year old child. Usually when I'm returning letters, normally I only contact the recipient's descendants, but this time I'm going to be contacting the descendants of the recipient and the sender. Part two to come. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a partial update right now because I know some of you are really waiting for this. I don't have a full update, but um, I did get into contact with the son of this 12, 12 13 year old girl. Um, no, he is not the result of this relationship, but um, he was shocked by the information, but he is definitely excited to receive the letter. Um, he was a little taken back, but um, he said that he is interested in, in having this letter and, and reading it and, and learning more about his, his mother when she was younger. Um, but in terms of the family of the furniture designer, the descendants, the family members, I have decided that I am not going to reveal the name of that designer because I need to protect the living relatives and descendants. And I'm afraid some of you will try and contact them, take it out on them, because the descendants and the family members now, the living ones, they are not responsible for things that happen in 1930. Um, and so I wish I could tell you guys who it was, but I'm not. That is not a responsible thing to do on my part, and I do have to risk, I have to uh, protect those involved and, and especially the um, living members of the family. So I'm not going to reveal their name, uh, but you can keep guessing who it, who it was. Uh, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything.